Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to understand page, group, and detail in the report wizard. And uh, we will be creating a tabular report uh, by using the report wizard, and uh, we will understand uh, these options. Now, let me show you one report that I have already created so you will understand what exactly we need to create uh, in this uh, scenario. Now, if you see this report one, uh, what we have here, we have Asia, that's a region, uh, and then uh, under that one we have this drill down report for the country so this is our region Asia and then we have country that's a group and then we have the detail right here and uh, this one is the subtotal per country and uh, in the Asia region we have India and then next country what we have is the Pakistan and uh, we see there are a couple of records and uh, we see the subtotal if we click uh, on the next page uh, we'll see different region uh, so here we have Europe and then uh, we have European countries uh, such as France and uh, Germany so that's the detail we have and uh, the subtotal is uh, by using uh, the country and uh, if we go to the next page uh, we have a uh, country USA and uh, the region is North America but there is only one country we have uh, for this region and that's the USA and you see the subtotal so something like that we need to create uh, for our users uh, how we will be able to do that uh, by using a report wizard so as uh, there is a project already open uh, I'm not going to create a new one we have a lot of videos on creating uh, how to create the new uh, project uh, and solution uh, you can go ahead and take a look uh, first of all here if you are already in the project uh, you can click on the reports uh, right click and say add new report uh, click next uh, and then uh, you will be selecting uh, the data source uh, if uh, there is already shared data source uh, you can select from the list here and if you want to create a new one you can click here and uh, provide the name of that one and then edit and edit uh, you will be uh, asked uh, to provide uh, the SQL server name and database uh, if you are selecting some different such as Terra data and all that you will be providing the connection string here in our case uh, what we have we have shared data source uh, sales uh, so let me take you to the sales database uh, and that's where our table is uh, in the table we have region we have country and uh, we have state city and then we have a uh, salesperson name and the uh, product what they sold over the time and uh, then a uh, number of uh, uh, items sold and the price uh, for each of them that's what we have and the sold data so this data we are going to use uh, in your case you might use multiple tables and join them and get this data so let me copy this one for our case we are fine now let me go back to the wizard and here we are using share data source so hit, hit next share data source is a data source that can be used across multiple reports as it is pointing to the same data base and if your reports are using the same database why not to use a shared one in that case it will eliminate the work when you will deploy the reports to the report server you will be making only changes to the one data source and that then you don't have to make change for each of the report if you will use embedded data source you have to go to each of the report and make changes here provide your query so in our case uh, we have select query that's what we are going to provide next uh, we are creating a tabular report uh, hit next uh, and here we have those options uh, that we want to discuss uh, with the page uh, in that's uh, where it will group uh, by the page so region uh, that's what we want to be on the each of the page so we select the region and then uh, we want to group uh, by the country so we have country here and next uh, we want to have the detail so you see that here each uh, part we are selecting here then we can see the yellow uh, or highlighted part of that one so from page this is what we have then country if we select here is country and then it is going to put the details so select a column in this case let's start with the state here then we have city and then I'm going to go ahead and create uh, put the first name last name and uh, product name and uh, item sold and uh, sold price uh, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, use the sold date. Um, okay, let me do it. <laughs> Fine. I will do it because uh, every time you get the date, uh, it will be formatted to the date time. And then you have to come back and reformat uh, to the date in the reporting services. Uh. So now we are going to go ahead and create uh, the report. Hit next. Uh, and here we are creating the stepped. Uh, that's what uh, uh, you see already we have that in the stepped. Uh, what you have, uh, you have the group uh, such as USA or uh, 
um, you, uh, other country names uh, and then the records or the details are going to be the right uh, after next row that's called uh, stabbed and here if you have block uh, what you see you will be having the group uh, right next to the detail line we have created a already I have created a demo on that one you can take a look on step and the block reports so you he, see here if I select step this is how it is going to be so this is where your group will be and the right next rows will be the detail if I select block they will be in the block shape now I'm gonna go ahead and select stepped because that's where we want to do we want to have a drill down in the block you do not have the drill down so now include subtotals enable drill down looks good hit next select uh, the style or the color whatever you want uh, in our case uh, let's go ahead and uh, check uh, for us this time uh, go green huh next uh, we will be providing uh, the name of the report uh, so in this case uh, what we are doing uh, we are creating uh, a drill down uh, report with the uh, page uh, group as well so we can call this one uh, I, I might just say sale total and uh, call it uh, uh, drill down okay so that's fine preview the report finish now you can see that uh, the Asia that's our region uh, and we have put on the page uh, so the very first page has Asia and then uh, it has the countries uh, as a drill down uh, so if I click here on the country then we have the detail uh, coming for each of the country and subtotals uh, are present for that uh, country now as I was talking about uh, let me show you see the date part date is coming as a date time even uh, in the SQL server uh, we have as a date uh, so that I don't like about uh, SSRS every time you have to format by, by yourself uh, but anyways fine I will do it now here we have Asia if I go to the next page uh, I will see the Europe region uh, as we have uh, uh, region on each of the page remember we put the region on page and then uh, we have country that was grouped uh, so and uh, these are the countries they are grouped uh, and you will see the detail uh, such as uh, customers uh, on each of the country if you hit uh, next page you will see North America region and uh, here you have a USA with all those uh, detail records uh, let's go back to design uh, and fix a few things uh, so here is sold date uh, click here right click again now you will be going to the number and here select the date as we are dealing with the data and uh, select the format uh, what you like uh, so I'm gonna go with this one fine also if you t t have taken a look uh, the names are coming in multiple lines uh, so we have to fix this width as well so hit here and then uh, same like Excel just move these cells a little bit give some space to it now we are good let's go back and preview the report so we can see that report Asia and uh, now hit uh, India we, we will see those uh, records uh, uh, for the customers and uh, the date is also coming in the correct format so then we can go ahead and uh, go to Pakistan you can uh, you have all those options uh, such as uh, you select uh, change the format um, font of these uh, uh, text uh, you can uh, uh, also go ahead and here you can uh, whatever you want to as a ba uh, background you can uh, select that one you can make it ita italic bold uh, whatever you want to do it we are going to have another videos uh, on those uh, parts uh, see if I did uh, for the detail rows uh, that's how it is uh, showing so you can change it or you can have it the way you want it and uh, uh, play with these uh, um, font names and uh, different uh, size and uh, all other different options you have uh, alignments as well uh, center uh, line left right and all so, so you select on the tablex uh, once you select here you can go ahead and make it center and uh, then you go to next uh, and select let's say make it center and then also select here and make it uh, center now here you can go ahead and remove the bold and italic let's preview the report looks good once uh, the report is ready you can't really give this report or call your user to your desk and show them hey I have created uh, this great report uh, you want to deploy this report uh, to some of the server report server from where the users can take a look uh, so you will be deploying this report maybe to the dev server or to your local for yourself and taking a look okay everything is coming correct uh, once it's done uh, then you will provide the RDL uh, or and RDS and other uh, now if you are using shared data sources uh, 
uh, sorry shared data sets uh, you will provide or check in uh, that information into the TFS or SVN or any other folder and then uh, DBA will take from there and he will deploy that to the report server one real quick uh, I, I have already set up the report server so if I will right click here and go to the properties uh, so it is going to uh, deploy this report uh, these are the data sets uh, if I'm using shared data set that means uh, if uh, there is a query that uh, results and results set can be used across multiple reports we create uh, shared data sources uh, that's where they will put that we don't have that as of now our all data sets are embedded uh, they are local to the report uh, now data sources uh, that's where our shared data sources uh, will be deployed uh, and here is the folder uh, that's where our reports will be deployed uh, and now you can change it if you want if I want to sell reports I can change it also the same way I can change other uh, folder names such as data sources and data sets uh, whatever I like and here is the report server URL that I have to provide in my case it is Amir PC backslash report server underscore SQL 2014 so this is what I have let me show you okay let me take that back the main so okay this is what I have this is my report uh, server and uh, now uh, once we deploy the report we will be seeing the reports uh, here on this uh, page so these are the reports page um, where we will see folders and data sources and data sets and everything and reports as well so let's go back uh, and uh, apply hit ok now if I will I just want to go ahead and uh, uh, deploy the entire project uh, I can uh, right click on the project and say deploy so it's going to deploy everything it is going to deploy the share data sources first and then it is going to deploy the reports in our case I have two reports or three reports it deploy the three reports so let's go and take a look again now refresh and we can see that in the data sources it deployed the sales data source and now if we go back here in the sales report that's where we see all those three reports now uh, remember we have created a sale total drill down that's our report name so let's click here and take a look uh, how it look uh, in the report server so that's how our report will be looking uh, so we have the Azure region on top of that page so this is the first page of uh, one of two and next uh, we have uh, countries uh, that's a group uh, and then we have uh, the client uh, or uh, customer whatever you call that information so here you have another country Pakistan and uh, you have that information if I go to the next uh, I will have Europe uh, as a region on that page and uh, France and Germany will be the countries uh, and uh, they have the customers uh, or detail uh, for each of uh, the country and next uh, if you see that, that this is the subtotal you know you, you can format them to dollar sign and uh, whatever you want and or euro sign if you want you can ha do that as well uh, next uh, if we click next uh, we will have North America and uh, the country we have in North America is only USA for our uh, records and uh, this is where you will see those all records or detail and this is the subtotal we can see one thing if you take a notice here we have a product name that's coming in two lines I would like to fix this one real quick for you so we will go ahead and product uh, go to design and uh, it's called product name we can expand a little bit now save this uh, and this time we do not have to deploy the entire solution um, sorry the project we can go ahead uh, and just deploy that report by right clicking on that report so this report will be deployed let's go back and take a look now so product name is coming correct now if we want to go ahead and expand that part uh, we can take a look so this is great so this is uh, how you will be using uh, the page and uh, group uh, and detail uh, options uh, by using uh, the wizard. I I, I I don't know like what's the uh, the best way some people say that for me it works just great I go ahead and create my reports uh, by using wizard and then uh, I start making changes uh, to that uh, report uh, but uh, if I have to create the same uh, report uh, from the empty report I have to put each of the field by myself so in this case I will be creating a table here and uh, sorry um, here uh, let's say we don't have this uh, uh, let me delete the entire thing if I will delete entire thing and I have that I have created the data set and everything now I have to say insert let me delete this part as well sorry 
so there, there is a lot uh, I have to do even uh, I go ahead and insert and table and groups and all those kind of thing so now I have to bring each of the column here and uh, format that one and uh, this and that so why not uh, to use uh, the wizard uh, at least to lay out the things uh, and then you can go ahead and uh, make changes uh, whatever you want to do that so I'm gonna cancel this out you have control Z and that's the undo option so if you want to do it you have that undo and uh, redo so they're, they're, they're really good uh, options uh, if you have to uh, make changes and you want to revert the back you can use them save it again and uh, we are all good thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video